Hey YouTube, I am going to do a review of this gun. It doesn't say a name <coughs> on it at all. As you can see, not no name on it. Uh, so I don't know what name that is. Uh, it's one of the. It's the second smallest Nerf gun of Nerf history. Um, one tactical rail can shoot only Whistler darts and um, Velcro darts. Um, just like it doesn't shoot that far of, of um, suction, but I'd prefer s s uh, Whistler or Velcro. Um, one thing that's cool about this gun is you don't have to pump it up just like the SSAS one. One simple swipe back. Well, take out the cartridge right here. This is air cartridge? And you just put your dart in. And I don't like the cartridge. I would like it to be more like the crossfire. How you just simply swipe it and it's loaded. So I would actually like it better than this. But this one doesn't have a tactical rail. I like this one. You can put a scope on it. Um, but yeah, as you can see that's very, very bulky. Not really cool. It will slide off, kind of. It's hard to reload because it's such a small thing that it won't do. Now I modified this gun. Um, I took a couple of springs out, and put big one, bigger ones in to make it shoot a lot farther. As you can see, it can shoot a lot farther and harder. This gun is very lightweight. As like I said, the second smallest Nerf gun in Nerf history. Um, it's got one thing where you can like clip on your clip onto it, so you can attach it to your, like, your belt or something. I like this gun a lot because it's small. It's like a small little pistol. Um, I like especially like the tactical rail because you don't see tactical rails on guns this big beat before. Um, thank you for watching my review of this gun, the small second smallest Nerf gun of Nerf history. Just like I said, no name. Um, yeah.